Call Me Can Communicate Season 2, Episode 7. Another four stories. Technically, it's... It's four, pero ang bilang ko five eh. Uh, first two stories is basically the aftermath of... Komi's awkward moment in... In the final scene of the last episode, basically, she's trying to deal with the embarrassment. So, pero, um, hindi pa niya nare-realize dito that Tadro is just as embarrassed too. Kasi, hindi niya maalala kung talagang bumisita si Komi sa kanya. Ang talagang naalala niya, si Najimi. The next day, well, he, he's now able to He's now healthy enough to go to school. So, pasok siya. Naka-face mask mga nga eh. So, so well, tinanong si Komi. Hey, Komi. Um, you alright? Mga oh, ganun. Sorry about yesterday. Gumano siya kagal. And, gumano, nag-look away na lang si Komi na ganun. Eh, syempre, embarrassed pa rin si Komi kasi na nabuta siya kasi ni Najimi na, well, holding hands sila ni Tadano while Tadano is down, right? More likely un- unconscious from the flu. A new classmate comes along and his name is Narose. True to his name, he's a narcissist. Pero, let's give credit where credit is due, guys. He instantly recognized na merong communication disorder si Komi. Now, he has a, um, he has a body body wherein uh, who serves as his reality check. Right? Pero sa lakas ng narcissism niya, hindi niya binapansin ito. Until the moment na um, he tried to approach Komi and well, probably introduce himself, of course. That's, you know, he's doing, that's a gentleman thing to do. Pero Instantly, nahalata ng, ng inner circle ni Komi kung anong, kung anong pakay niya. Gusto niyang pormahan si Komi. At ang una nakapansin dito, si Yamai pa. Alright? Probably the most satisfying moment in the entire episode. Thank you, Yamai. So, well, Yamai just gave, just gave him a stern warning. Yup. Eh, the kind of warning only only Yamai can give. Until such time na hindi na matake ni Narose yung 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 panghahawi sa kanya ng mga ng, ng inner circle ni Komi. Well, basically, he just, they're just trying to protect her. Okay? Bot, yun lang, yun lang bottom line naman yan eh. Pero, he still passes it off as um uh, fans love him too much. This is getting harsh na. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's how much of a narcissist this guy is. So, pag punta niya sa CR, okay, sinamahan siya ng, ng body niya. Tapos pagbalik nila, sinulubong sila ni Komi with his handkerchief, with his handkerchief that he dropped in the classroom. Hindi niya alam. He still passed this off as fan service. Okay. Final scene, school trip, right? So much has happened in this particular story, but this one was the um was a total icebreaker. Everybody wanted to be in Komi's group, pero inantisipin na niya ng, ng, ng class advisor nila. Sabi nga ng teacher, eh. I expect. I was I was anticipating this, so. We're going to draw lots. Pa! So she laid down a box na siguro, bubu- siguro magbubunutan. Then, the entire class was like this. <laughs> Spaced out. Even call me. <laughs> so, Patreon, Beagle, Maka Lifestyle, we're going, to break that, we're going to break that episode down now. Critics of style. Pace! Slice of life pacing, guys. Slow, but profound. And, of course, with the kilig moments. Kasi kung, well, bottom line, kung 
Bibilisan nyo ang pacing ng, ng isang slice of life anime. Hindi. Either you won't be able to elicit the proper emotions from the audience or you're mami-misinterpret ng audience totally. Especially yung mga kilig moments dito sa episode na to. Do I have complaints, guys? Absolutely not. Because vintage slice of life anime feels. Vintage slice of life pacing. Yung nakita ko dito sa episode na to. Flo naman. This may be four stories, pero I can only cite two as gear shifts. The first one was when Narose uh, attempted to uh, to introduce himself to Komi. For me, it's a no-brainer of a gear shift, guys. Bakit? It just goes to show you how much of a narcissist this guy is. Despite the fact that he instantly recognized Komi's communication disorder. Final... Uh, bakit tatlo? Final gear shift was, of course, the biggest kilig moment of the episode. Yung... Hini- Hinintay muna ni Komi na, na medyo lumayo ng konti si Tadano enough for her to to call him at doon niya ikwento. No brainer of a gear shift there, folks. It just goes to show you again how close these two are now. Although, uh, Komi has a way of expressing it. Okay lang kay Tadano yun. Kasi Tadano gets the... Uh, now has the full Monty, so to speak, on uh, on on Komi's mental health issue, and he totally gets it, and he's more than willing to uh, he's more than willing to be uh, to be her friend. So these two gear shifts that I saw definitely will play a role down the line in the second half of season two's run. Plot wise, excuse me. Hindi ko pa tatagalin yung pag-describe ko sa plot. Planchado ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Again, OLM has over-delivered on the transitioning of this episode. On, on this anime. Talagang, the plot would really make you feel na all four stories happen in the same day. But no. The fourth story happened between, ano eh, uh, what's called this? Merong siyang present day and next day. Pero kung hindi kayo sanay manod ng anime, you would easily pass that off as uh, as the same timeline. Eh. As the no, hindi naman continuity timeline. But the first three stories, absolutely. You you would feel na talagang it happened in the same day, within the same within the same twelve hours at least. Maganda yung transition yung talaga. Impeccable, guys. So, base, flow, and plot. They all came together again for this episode, folks. OLM has done it again. So, Call Can Communicate Season 2, Episode 7. No-brainer. Two thumbs up! This anime has, wow, okay, has profoundness written all over it. Okay? Itabi nyo muna yung mga kilig moments na nakikita nyo. Itabi nyo rin yung mga uh, the bad things you're seeing about this anime. Okay? It's got the word profound written all over it. Up to now. Even up to this episode. Talagang you would you would absolutely love to deep dive in every, in every episode so far of season 2. Talagang Whew. It's worth your time. Right? It's really worth your time. So again, Call Me Can Communicate Season 2, Episode 7. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Call Me, mga ka-lifestyle. Wow. Kilig moment. Kilig moment. So Patreon, Bigo, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, mm, Week in, week, day in, day out, I still see you chilling. Pero magagawa ko. Enjoy this review 
and I'll see you in the next one.